Hi everyone, Libby here. Today I'm going to share with you some of my recommendations, I guess would be the word, of some recent discoveries of who I consider to be underrated YouTubers. Some I have been watching for a while, but I'm going to do a couple of categories under 1,000 subscribers, under 5,000 and under 10,000 subscribers. So pretty small YouTubers and just to try and give them some support. So I think I'm going to make a, like a kind of a series of videos. So I might do some like favorite minimalism video, video <laughs> YouTubers next or some favorite um, vloggers. This one's just a general what I, who I consider to be very underrated. And again, I could probably make a couple of these videos, but I thought I'll just limit it to three in each category of under a thousand, under five thousand, and under ten thousand subscribers. So I'll um, go and plonk myself down in front of a computer and I'll show you. I don't quite know how to do the fancy thing of pulling up the screen and doing voiceovers, so I'm just going to hold the camera and point it at my computer <laughs> and show you a bit of their channels. Hopefully we're not getting too much glare off anything. So I will start with the under about under 10,000 subscription subscribers is the word. So this is a peek inside by the lovely Darlene. Um, I've, I think I've been subscribed to Darlene for a long time, but I've only recently started watching her. But who would know if my memory? I don't know. Um, but my favourite things of Darlene's. What, what I really got into her channel were for her food prep videos. She does one a week and I love them. Um, she's not vegan, but I still really enjoy her food prep videos because a lot of it's just chopping vegetables and fruits and stuff. But um, yeah, I really enjoy her food prep videos. But you know, as you can see, I watch a lot of her other videos too. She does a lot of vlogs. She's got a 16 year old son with autism and I think an 18 year old daughter who's at university or college, but is currently home for the summer. But yeah, I really love Darlene. And the more I've watched, the more I've really sort of, I feel a connection with her. <laughs> I guess we're, you know, similar age. Um, I think she's a little bit younger than I am, but you know, sort of very similar life experiences. She does cleaning and cooking and being a mum so yeah I really love Darlene and it's been nice to watch her channel grow just in the short time that I've been watching it. So next up is Invisible Eye. This is a lovely Welsh girl called Katie who has fibromyalgia with her originally found her channel. She also has autism as you can see there and I think she might have a few other um, health problems as well. But yeah, so I started watching with her fibro videos and obviously with Athena looking at an autism diagnosis, I've enjoyed, she's got Raynards as well. So I knew she had a few different things. So yeah, so I've enjoyed her. She's um does a lot of, she's just done a lot of videos about a lot of different things, but lately she has started doing vlogs and I've really enjoyed her vlogs. I think she's done two weekly vlogs now and yeah, definitely worth checking out. Um, especially if you suffer with a chronic illness, but yeah, even if you don't, <laughs> she's a really nice young girl and I've really, yeah, enjoyed watching her channel. Okay. And Sophie and Dave just scrape into this category because they're nearly at 10,000 subscribers. Sophie actually has another channel. I think it's kind of a beauty channel from memory. I'll flick over and have a look at that in a minute. Uh, with a lot more subscribers. Yes. Dave has only recently started or joining in with Sophie's channel. Um, and they, they do Disney, that's where I've come, I think that's how I found Sophie, I can't remember now, just trying to think, um, but yeah, they do vlogs, and obviously I've been still working my way through the Disney vlogs, but obviously another English couple, <laughs> and I just click over to all their videos, I know Dave's on a wait, oh that's right, because Charlie's wait for the wedding, I believe, oh I could be getting myself all confused, but anyway, so I've really enjoyed their videos, um, they live in London, he is Scottish, and I think she's from the north of, of England somewhere. But yeah, definitely if you like vlogs, this is their vlogging channel. So Sophie's main channel has got 33,000 subscribers, and good videos. Yeah, she's just a lot of normal girl things, let's say. <laughs> Hauls and makeup routines. And she did do vlogs on this channel before. And yeah, 
I just don't know how I found her channel. I don't think it was through Disney. But she might know someone who went to Disney. Maybe her channel's only a year old. How about that? She's really lovely. Sophie's very, very softly spoken, and I love just listening to her talk. She's, you know, a real, a real lady, you might want to say. She's lovely. Really, really sweet girl. So moving into the under 5,000 subscribers, I'm actually not sure. Obviously, so Leslie Ann doesn't have, I think she's just Leslie, Leslie Ann. I know she hasn't got her subscriber number, but looking at the number of views, I'm guessing she's probably under 5,000. Um, but it could be more. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But yeah, she gets looking like she, yeah. Anyway, I found Leslie through her minimalist wardrobe video. She lives in the, the Netherlands and I just love her. I just, she's probably my favorite vlogger at the moment. As soon as I see she's put up a video, I watch it. She is just a really lovely girl. Um, yeah, and I just find it really interesting. Her lifestyle obviously is quite different to mine. She's single at the moment. When I started watching her videos, she had a boyfriend. They remained friends, so he's often in the videos still. But she's just lovely. She's mad about cats. <laughs> she doesn't have a cat, but she's mad about cats. And as you can see, cat mugs <laughs> and plants. And she does a lot of thrift, uh, thrift shopping or op shopping. And yeah, they just her and her family went to, I think it's Spain. I think went to Spain recently. Yeah, so went to Spain. As you can see, I've watched all her vlogs. I really, really love, I just love her channel. Um, yeah, she is a vegan too. So obviously I've enjoyed her food stuff, but yeah, she's just a lovely, lovely girl. Uh, again, if you like vlogs, highly recommend you check out um, Leslie's videos. Very happy I can actually recommend this channel because it's, it was one of my favorite channels for a long time. She's actually got, well, had about three different channels. I found her from her food prep videos when I was going through uh, looking for food prep. Um, and I really enjoyed, obviously, her food prep videos. And then I think one of her other channels was minimalist videos. And I can't remember what the third channel was now, but I'm subscribed to all of them. But she only just, I think, yesterday, when did we, let's go to videos. Not sure it was yesterday. Yep, yesterday. Well, I only watched it today, actually. Um, she's, as you can see, she hasn't put up a video in two months. I think she, with three different channels, it got a bit much for her, which is, I can understand that. So she's going to put everything now on one channel, which I think makes a lot of sense. And I'm very excited that she's going back doing videos again, because I've really enjoyed her stuff. Um, she does some with her husband. I think he had his own channel too. So whether he's going to join in with this one, I'm not sure. But yeah, lots of, if you want... Um, vegan meal prep or I think vegan meal prep can appeal to anyone who's into meal prep uh, and she's obviously got some cooking videos as well and she's going to put some minimalist, minimalist ones up on this channel and yeah so you can get all sorts of stuff yeah so Jamie said she had minimalist videos on her other channel which I believe are going to go here and like you know um, ethical what's the word what am I thinking of ethical living sustainable living i'm not sure <laughs> um she's going to do some of those videos as well she said but yeah definitely recommend her channel as well and i'm just i'm really happy that she's coming back because i said i really enjoyed them as you can see the most of them nearly all been watched <laughs> so someone a little bit closer to home is fern from the fern life she's a new zealand um vlogger mainly i think pretty much most of her videos are vlogs uh, I think I found her through a thousand words because they are friends or I'm not sure the YouTube I think there's YouTube friends I think originally but like real life friends now pretty sure that's how I my memory is so bad I'm pretty sure that's how I found Fern and I just I didn't watch it I subscribed for a while I didn't really watch and then I sort of got into watching her and I she's got a bit of a, a quirky personality but I've really gotten to in enjoy enjoy um, her and her family um, as you can see, she has a shaved head. She shaved her hair for um, cancer fundraiser oh, a few months ago now. And yeah, I really en enjoy her and I enjoy seeing her chickens. She's got chickens. <laughs> so yeah, she's got, uh, I think, four kids, two girls and two boys, I believe. Going from my memory, a few
who like vloggers or you're looking for someone from New Zealand or Australia, recommend Fern because I think she does a, a good job with her channel. Okay, so first up in the under 1,000 subscribers is Yvonne from Lefty, Lefty, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. I just looked at her about channel and it's the um, African word for love. Uh, they lived in South Africa and now live in London, I think London or England, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know where in, in England. And um, her husband is Bulgarian, Bulgarian? Is that the right word? Oh my gosh. Anyway, she's a lovely girl. Um, uh, not many subscribers, as you can see, because I don't think she's been, her channel's been going too long. I have no idea how I, I, know, I do know it was a cleaning video, I believe. Uh, that's how I found her channel. Yeah, <laughs> weekly cleaning schedule. Yeah, so in fact, so her channel has only been going for five months. So, yeah, if you like, she has a bit of cleaning and she does a weekly vlog, which I enjoy watching. She's got the most gorgeous little girls, and watching her girls always reminds me of when my two were young and sweet. And look at the little chocolate face. <laughs> So yes, I really enjoy her channel. Again, another mainly vlogger. Um, yeah, if you stop by, say I said hello and <laughs> sent you to her channel. Okay, so next is um, Corey Miller. Uh, I found his channel through, uh, oh my gosh, Charlie Marie's channel. If you've been here for a while, you would have heard me rave about Charlie Marie. I absolutely love her. She's another New Zealand girl who lives in London. Corey is an American living in Ireland, as you can see there. That's what that video is about. Um, I think his wife's American too. So that's how I found his channel, and I really enjoyed his style. He's um, sort of very filmmakerish. That's <laughs> how I describe his sort of style. He's got a really good style of videos, and he's just, they've been over in Austria, back home now. So I enjoyed those videos. Again, cute little kids. <laughs> I think it must be much easier to be a YouTuber if you've got cute little kids to share. So yeah, I've enjoyed his and a change of pace having a male YouTuber to recommend you to because I think he's the only one. The rest are all girls except for Dave of Sophie and Dave. But yeah, I've enjoyed his videos. I think good quality filming and um, yeah. I said I'm only feeling new to his channel. I've been watching probably for a few weeks now. Maybe May a month, four weeks is the last one that I, or the first one there that I watched. So I was after seeing him in Charlie Marie's video, one of her vlogs. Okay, so the last recommendation I have for you today is a couple actually, which is Dream in Autumn. They are an English couple who are currently living in Budapest and they are digital nomads. <laughs> so um, I'm fairly new to the channel. You can see I've watched a few here and there. I don't even know how I found their channel. I'm guessing it's something to do with yeah, minimalism. I was going to say, I bet it's something to do with minimalism. So yeah, that's how I found their channel, Minimalist Wardrobes. As you can see, I haven't, I haven't even watched all their videos yet because I'm, it's only a recent discovery. But again, I'm really enjoying If you want travel videos, they do a good job. I don't upload every day, but a couple of times a week. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch their Budapest ones yet, but I would like to do that. And as I said, they're now in... Where are they? I just watched it today. Spain. <laughs> so I think then. Yeah, because I just watched that one today. They're in Spain at the moment, and they're staying there for three months. So, yeah, they seem like a nice couple. And they only just scrape into that category too. So... <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my recommendations. Let me know if you actually... Um, check any of them out and if you like any of them let me know who you've decided to subscribe to but obviously i recommend them all for different reasons and um yeah i'll try and film another type of video another i'll try and film another favorites video for you at another time if you have any categories that you'd like me to do such as minimalism or anything else that you think i might have an interest in that i've probably got a lot of subscribe a lot of um channels that i watch but anyway if you've got any questions about any of them either or if you've got anyone you'd like to recommend um please i'm always happy to some of these have come via recommendations i think um 
maybe not these ones. I think Darlene might have them a peek inside. But yeah, if you've got any recommendations, I'm welcome to more recommendations. <laughs> we'll like to find new channels to check out. Okay, I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye.